Anybody been keeping up with this Alec, uh, this Alec ball range bullshit? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 like, it, I, I saw it happen, and then I was like, man, who should I talk to about this? And then I go on, and I see, like, oh, Stop. gun damage streaming. I'm like, oh, but definitely not gonna bring that up. <laughs> I mean, it's a well, fucked up thing to happen, but... I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a crow all over again. Yeah, yeah. Like, that is basically, like, did we not learn from the crow? I mean, shit like this happens by accident, so... I mean, laws were literally passed after the crow incident, so... Clearly, some shit did not follow through here. Uh, when you say the crow, you're talking about the movie, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, oh, we're nice. uh, yeah. Well, when I think about the crow, I always think about that thing and the line. What, what was it like? Uh, for fuck's sake, die already! I say that all the time. <laughs> it's like in DMC. It's like in Devil May Cry. Uh, three at the line, dude. So, so. All right, nice. Nice shot. Uh, yeah, yeah, this yeah, is it's very This awesome, is look. Man. Yeah. Can you uh, imagine just being uh, just being Lord. watching Al Bolin? Uh, you're probably they're probably filming in that moment, and you're shooting, and he's shooting, and you basically got Alec Baldwin on camera sh shooting and killing someone. Not knowingly, but still. It's well, apparently they were doing a practice run of it, so of the scene first, and that's when it okay. happened. Well, even then, they still they still film that stuff. And even, yeah. and even so, the no. like the supposed blank that's, that that's supposed to be in the gun just didn't go off properly. It seemed more like the live round was actually put in instead of a blank. Yeah. Uh, either that or someone messed up with with, with, with the prop. And that's what happened. With the because they they also filmed that scene. They thought it was, like, oh, it was actually a scene, but because the trap lord thing, the prop did not go off correctly, and it shot off, you know, and killed the person. So, point being, there is more than one person at blame. Oh yeah. So not really. Because be, 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 because, be, because they, like, the, there there are like actual protocols in in, in place for, for mm -hmm. shooting stuff like this in movies when using yeah. lethal props. Yeah, I definitely see uh, the prop manager is definitely getting a uh, manslaughter charge probably for it. I'll just say, did that happen? Did that happen with the crow as well? Or did was someone actually charged for that? Shit? I'm not sure because at the time there weren't okay. any laws regarding that. I mean, the crow no. was the one that started the whole, you know, on-screen firearm law. So, yeah, and what's ironically enough, the actor you know that shot off the the prop, he died last year. Yeah. So he, he's like a, yeah, he was like, you know, he still did a bunch of work with me afterwards. I mean, but he still didn't yeah. what happened that day. I mean, he was like, it's all evil. Honestly, it's, it's still involuntary manslaughter. Oh. Honestly, I can see this potentially being that breaks left. Alec Baldwin's final, like, basically, this is going to cause him to kind of throw in the towel. Yeah. Be like, Ooh, yeah. Well, okay. Ooh, yeah. Been, like uh, yes. Alec Baldwin, like, in the last couple of years, I think he's been, like, could make a birdie. Not, I don't know if it was Alec Baldwin or if it's uh, like uh, Ben Affleck, but either of those, uh, I f or it could be both. That like uh, they've been actively like very publicly saying like uh, uh, they've been kind of they're kind of like tired essentially. They're done. Like, I want to go so far as to say they're done. They're just tired. You know, you get to that point, it's like I just can't do it anymore. <laughs> ben Affleck is more of a person, but he's yes. still acting more movies than Alec Baldwin. But Alec Baldwin is also more of a producer. Could make a birdie. Things. Like the, but in this case, he's a both a uh, producer and an uh, actor. But it could, it could go that way too. That'd be the final thing. Yeah. Oh, Remains to be seen, but like all bold win. Yeah, I, I, I kind of agree with Highest Metal. Like this might actually be his final, his last movie. Just like, mm -hmm. I, don't might... movie, I don't think that movie will be finished. Probably Honestly, not. yeah, probably not. Four, four, no, it'll be finished. It's just gonna. They're just gonna probably take. It's just gonna take a while. Well, they're probably a, they're probably a contract thing too that they have to finish it. So there's that aspect too. Yeah. I mean, they're they're probably gonna have to go for, like going forward. They're probably gonna have like if anything, it'll get finished. It'll probably just take a lot longer than it is because cool. probably have a lot more supervisory oversight 
like to make sure that shit doesn't happen again and they're probably like gonna have to like triple check their crews essentially because obviously if, the, if this is happening someone's a bunch of people are gonna get fired which means you gotta have to rehire people and they're gonna have oversight and that's gonna add a lot of time that's gonna add a lot of money well, so it'll, it'll, it'll happen it'll just take time so it's a big claim that it's the actor too. Stop chewing my hair. Yeah, but it is still pretty fucked up though. It's also kind of fucked up because of the apparently the premise of the movie is about um uh his his character's um son is is charged with accidental murder. <laughs> yeah, that, that is the ultimate karma right there. Like, like, I look at that and I'm like, this is basically a finger to right case. <laughs> or Detective Conan. Cool, great shot. Yeah. You're amazing. It's like, it, it's all, it's all like, Conan is about murder. Yeah, of course. The, the, at this point, half the half the population of Japan has been dead. Mm -hmm. yeah, it, yeah, it's not the low child birth rates, it's Conan episodes. <laughs> the, the birth all rate time. just doesn't help. All dying in incredibly fucked up ways, too. I will never, I'll never forget this like this early episode in like season one of like, Detective Conan, nice where shot. basically a guy like commits suicide by jumping off of a, uh, he jumps off like uh, the back of a uh, of a chair and kills himself uh, with with a knife in the back that was uh, linked to a sit, linked to a ice block. So, oh, okay, you know. You don't remember that episode? Nah, it's been so long since I saw Detective Conan, so... Oh, well, to be fair, it, 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 like I said, this is season one shit, so... I remember there was another, like, it was a more recent episode, I think, but, like... Shoot. There was, like, some candy yeah. shop. There was, like, some, like, candy shop owner, and, like, he had, like, a bunch of, like, fermenting, like, candy and, like, jars of alcohol on the shelf. And, like, he pulled out, like, some sort of, like, birthday cake thing with candles on top, and the shelf fell on him. And coat him in alcohol, which of course got ignited by the candle, so cool. it just spends a good minute of watching this dude burn alive. Jeez. Yeah. It's like, it's... Yeah, it turns out his it's wife murdered him. <laughs> it's like, yeah. well now. Yeah. The case I'm talking about of like, it was, uh, like, there were some, there was, uh, things that could have led to murder, but in reality it was actually just a suicide. So, no. Because, uh, no. Like, various things and whatnot. I always like uh, the goal of the police officers uh, who basically are sitting there looking at the body, saying like, have you determined the cause of death? We're pretty sure it's a knife in the back, sir. <laughs> <laughs> are you well, sure? Well, well, are you sure? Well, most of the life of Superbad is just seen in the ball. <laughs> There's also the one episode where like they found the bag of weed. Yeah. And like they all freak out as if like they're holding a time you bomb. Saw it. Right now. This is all you right here. We'll see. Yo and run. Yo. Hey Yo. Aaron, how are How's you doing? Going? Good. Sorry, yeah, my nose was playing around with shit. No, it's fine. I'm late too, yeah. so no, I'm crotchety as fuck. I don't have any food right now. Good thing. Hey. Uh, any takes on this Alan Baldwin situation? Uh, it's dumb, and um, I, I mean I don't know much about film, the film industry. I I just know a little bit from what I picked up in like classes in college when I was doing production work. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, I do know that uh, like prop firearms are still dangerous. Um, yep, because. They don't, I, like, I've read like three different things about what happened to Alec Baldwin, and I don't know if I believe any of them because one of them was from like a union, like like a film union union account that is rather hostile um, to nice uh, nice like, this production shot. in general. So like I don't know like who to believe, but like one of two things usually happens when something like this happens, and it's because and it's usually because somebody. So they use live ammunition for certain shots, right? Like if they're if they're shooting if you're shooting somebody loading a weapon or something like that, like you know, like we've seen it a million times in the movies. Lots of times they use live ammo for that, um, but then they take it right back out again, you know, if they're going to use the gun as a prop. Um, or and you know sometimes that you know when they use blanks, 
sometimes like pieces of the blank can come off. Mm -hmm. I read that too. Yeah, because that's what happened to Brandon Lee. That's how Brandon Lee died when they were filming the crow. Because yeah, because a, yeah, a piece of um, you know, it, well, a piece of the of the prop bullet broke off in the chamber and Ooh. nobody realized it and that was that thing was stuck in the barrel and then when they actually loaded the blank round because all blank round is is it's an actual cartridge with powder in it it just doesn't have a projectile um, so when that when that blank went off all that powder propelled that little chunk that was still in the barrel forwards as if it were a projectile you know and that's what and, and that was still enough to kill uh, Brandon Lee um, so that's probably what I don't know which one of those is what happened. I, the account that I saw that was tweeting out, you know, like, oh, well, this movie was cursed because these guys didn't pay for union labor and blah 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 blah. Like that account s says that it was a live round that somebody had loaded in there for another shot and left it in. But I don't know if I believe that account or not, just because they seem to be rather hostile to that particular. Um, they have an agenda. They they have an axe to grind with uh, yeah. with, with with the producers of that movie. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if it's 100 percent accurate or not. But we'll yeah. see. The, I mean, the police will the police statement will will pretty much tell us what's going on. So I think uh, on top of that, there is uh, currently right now a a union strike that's currently going on like in the industry right now. Yeah, there is. Or at least it's on the verge of happening. Mm -hmm. I I Either it's happening were... now, or if it's been, or it's been voted on, but it's been postponed. That right, right. If yeah. Super Wild, remember it's been slightly Good. postponed. They, they're they a little, they're like back you off and up, but there are more, more talks again. But right now, it's not as active. On the green. Something to that degree. Well, there's labor. There, well, it, either way, there's labor shit going on. Yep. And like it's not people are like emotions are high or whatever, mm -hmm. and then and then some shit like this happens. But um, from what I read about this movie, like this is a super cheap like indie movie. Um, yeah. So it's not like they've got a whole lot of money nice to like job. you know because I've read people saying things like why don't they just use CGI? You know it's incredibly irresponsible. Well, CGI Ooh. costs money, a and lot. practical practical effects are a lot cheaper most of the time, lots of times than mm -hmm. you know than CGI. So they just so they just use props and do it the way I that they did it in the old days. I had, actually, that's not true. Like they count, they basically cost the same amount of money the difference between the two in cgi you can get exactly what you want so that's why people tend Close. to go that i don't know like so to me just shooting a practical effect with a prop gun that what you're that, uh, that a production company has already got lying around and then blank ammo like it's the cost it's literally the cost of props and blank ammo that has to be cheaper than cgi like has to be mm -hmm. But either way, like, you know, people were saying stuff like that, and people were, and then people are just like, well, well, you know, like, why don't they have this, this, and this, and this, like, they don't need me, and, and, and you know, they don't, they, they don't realize that this movie is, like, shoestring budget, indie, independent film, like, you know, just because Alec Baldwin is involved with it doesn't mean it's, like, a major production, because it's not. Mm -hmm. Yep. Actually, I should probably ask one of my, uh, friends about this, because he works at a gun shop, and they get licensed out quite often to movie sets, mm -hmm. to provide firearms and whatnot. In fact, he was telling me how he had a run-in with uh, Chris Rock and his entourage on a film set. But um, I, gotta, I gotta ask him about this because I think he would know a bit more about this. Probably. There's an account on uh, from a podcast I, I have listened to, uh, Yo Video Games. I'm sure some of us uh, are familiar with them. Uh, but his, uh, there's a guy called Funk Machine. Funk Machine spelt with uh, PH. Uh, he works in the film industry, and if you have questions, I would go ask him because he's basically like currently filming in the industry currently right now, and so he knows all the like all the ins and outs of, of like what things are happening. So if I need film insight, I would usually go to him and ask like, uh, "What's going on? In this? What do you think about?" So I would suggest going and asking him, and based on him, on his standards, it's like. Uh, uh, things are fucked up, <laughs> as he as he would always put it within the film industry. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's probably because like, well, it's as it fucked up as it is. Like, it's probably because like most of those people were working like 18-hour shifts, and well, someone got tired and didn't realize like what 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 went wrong, and that's what probably what led to the accident happening. Mm -hmm. Probably no one's fault, but just because of the fact they were working like 
18 hour shifts or whatever, like uh, someone had a lapse in time just because they were so fucking tired, and that's what ended up happening. It, it could be possible, but it also depends on the movie situation, like the, 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 the shooting. I mean, it, it could be possible that they are overworked, but it depends on the movie too. Yeah, well, most of the time it's always uh, that's usually it's always the case because mm -hmm. possibly. Yeah, these guys were definitely overworked because, like, I was I was reading some other people like the, who were working on the movie were saying like that they had walked off the set because they were working like 14, yeah. 15 hour days and and they yeah. and the production and the productions wouldn't like they wouldn't um, approve like hotel rooms and shit like that for them. Yikes! All right, I take that back. Yeah, like, like I just read that right now, and it's like, well, oh, it's down. It's fucking surprise. Yeah, that explains. Uh, that actually gives more ammo. No pun intended. To to the strike going on, so. Yeah, well, no, it definitely does. That's why all these, all these like uh, late industry labor accounts are all like seizing upon this moment mm -hmm. to uh, kind of to, to, to you know to, to make something out of it. Like mm -hmm. it's, that's why I was like, I'm not really sure if I trust these particular accounts to know what's actually nice. going on. It just seems like they're just they, they have an incentive just to say shit, you like you know to kind of you know strengthen what? their position. Yeah, also weapon up. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's the same thing. It, 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 that's 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 weaponizing. It's pretty much basically, basically throwing Alec under the bus to um to get their point across. Yeah, Which, but like I said, the, I don't... the point is uh, valid. It's just the uh, the way they're doing about it is not the most honest way, mm. especially considering they probably don't know what the fuck is going on. They might. I mean, they may, uh, may be right. I don't oh, know. Yes, I just, yes. I just, I just wow, don't saw necessarily that. believe them. Yeah, that ain't yeah. proof. So. Right you know, it, it sucks though, you know, the whole thing is kind of just bad. Mm -hmm. uh, he yeah, feels like we were, yeah, the highest metal made the prediction, and I kind of agree with him that this might actually be like <laughs> Baldwin's last, so good. last movie. Nice so good! Yeah, I think he's definitely gonna retire after this, because yeah, it's yeah, gonna he, be really hard to get back to acting after basically shooting your friend. Yeah, definitely. Unless. Unless that movie of like it meets like Buku Butts, maybe he might a, add. A, I was gonna say it's a Western. How often does that don't have to do well either? I don't know. Shit happens. Yeah. You never she know. Already she, she already did that. Well, shut well, off. That's a well, bad no. taste. Well, no, I well, I'm just screwed. Who knows? Like, who knows how well this movie will do or will do? I, I mean, I don't, I don't think there's any way it's gonna it'll be able to continue because like. This is oh, like an in, it's an indie project that that probably doesn't have a whole lot of money behind it. Like mm -hmm. I don't, I just don't that's understand. Like, like I just don't see how this movie will can continue. There's no way this movie's gonna get, be completed. Like it's not gonna make any money. They're just gonna they're gonna cut their losses and just call it a day. I think. Yeah, it's it'll probably be one of those movies. Like over time, it'll make money just due to the screening, residuals, and things like that. Like uh, like oh, and like as. 10 years it turns into 20 like they'll make money by like long-term distribution it gets completed which i doubt it will so well, i was gonna say don't they sell these uh, guys uh, sell these movies to like some of his after movies filmed or during it yeah i think nowadays it's probably okay yeah, that's 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 good. I, I don't know how that well, normally, if, it, if it's normally, if it's for streaming, if it's it's you know somebody's gonna have to order it, right? Like the company's gonna have to order it or something. Sobro may know more about this stuff since his brother works in this industry. But, um, normally, somebody has ordered it, whether it's a network or a streaming service or something like that. So I don't know if that's how this one was going was happening or if this was just being made the old-fashioned way. Um, but who, I, who knows? Next to the right. Curve, you dumbass ball. Shit. Hey, man, Rahazir, that's how that goes. Could oh, make shit. a birdie. Uh, no, no, that's, I mean, that is the right. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's been Next fine, I guess. Right. I've just been messing around with this fucking, this new little toy. Uh, what toy? Uh, the Ingram. Oh, the, uh, the Robido, 3 0 Robido Ingram. Oh, uh, okay. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, it's super fucking nice. I mean, we're messing around with uh, taking pictures of it. I thought like you were. I thought nice. you were messing around with uh, the nice. transformable Optimus Prime. Up here, maybe. <laughs> no. That's pretty nice. The six hundred dollar one that transforms by itself. That seven hundred. <laughs> yeah, but that one. No, I'm not buying that. <laughs> I, I actually got to see it recently with. Uh, like, actually get to see it. Like, I I even heard about it. Never saw the video of it. 
but somebody I have like uh, in my feeds actually like actually bought one and was playing around with it and I said like geez this thing is actually really kind of cool but for some oh, it's, but it's not 700 dollars <laughs> yeah it's super cool but like you know 700 bucks no thank you I mean props to it like it wishes you a happy oh, Optimus Prime wishes you a happy birthday so <laughs> So, I mean, for $700, he better wish me a happy birthday. Yeah, better, better do a lot more than just fucking wish you a happy birthday. <laughs> no shit. Maybe they, uh, uh um, probably not, but like, can you imagine if they, like, cool. if they made another one, or oh. they made it so you could upgrade, and oh, you could no. upgrade, like, the sound files? They just pay Peter Cullen, and you can just download these sound files. Gosh. I, I want one of Beast Wars Megatron C. Yes. Just <laughs> That'd be, that would be awesome. I would. I mean, I wouldn't pay seven hundred dollars for it, but. Oh, but you know, it's like a magic eight ball. But I'll say, I'll just say yes and no. no. <laughs> and then starts, starts the voice actor voicing lines NFTs. Oh, oh god. god. Oh, don't give him my yes. I was just reading. I was just reading about the NFT bullshit that was happening. I think. Uh, in, I feel dumb. I feel dumber after like, reading uh, more about NFTs. What was it like until, uh, until de uh, daylight or something, whatever? But like they had like the J like the Friday the Thirteenth uh, NFTs. I think was going on. Uh, I was reading about that and about how like Steam's cutting off all those um those cats. Get <laughs> out now! Oh shit. <laughs> Damn, that was... So I'd say if the cat fucked up your shot. Yes, actually, because I wasn't paying attention and I had to look away. Back on your beat. No. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was reading how, how, how Steam had this, the um, band or games that have the chain blocking from the code. Yeah. The blockchain that's, stuff. Yeah, blockchain. Also something that's currently being talked about in the... in my particular parts of the card game. Uh, fandom, like, people talking about NFT, like, chain blocking, essentially, like, documentation for, like, cards that are above a thousand dollars now. I <sighs> like, certain images are worth, have a, have a value, stuff like that. Hold on. I will respond to that in a moment. Okay, there we go. Fuck you. Alright, um, basically, yeah, like, in my, in my fandom, we're just talking about, like, ha actually having documentation about where this card came from, where it's going, and how, it, and how it got there, and verifying that it isn't stolen. As opposed to getting graded. Um, grading isn't an authentication in my mind. It is not an authentication. It's not. It? Grading is a... <laughs> It's an appraisal on the condition of said card, but it doesn't. Ver but it does not verify one if it's real, two if it's stolen or not. So, there. there I I don't know if Enron's uh, familiar with this, but I once talked about like uh, this uh, whole thing with the uh, with the Yu-Gi-Oh card uh, that recently came out that quote shouldn't exist, but apparently it did, and it got graded. But a lot of people basically had said like it's grading is not authentication and it isn't, and like uh, it was a whole shit show, and it was it got so bad that actually uh, PSA actually discounted the card from their database, and they actually started hiring like new Amazing. people to actually do uh, what's the word authentication or uh, core sampling of their cards. So because it actually hurt the brand a little bit. So, because it was a big drama that actually came about. So, but uh, that's what we're talking about in the car and in, in our fandoms now. Basically, just a verifying like, like, author and ownership like throughout the car through person to person, essentially. So it's degrading. No, uh, that's not even that's not even funny. I'm not even gonna laugh. Like, I don't even. I, I don't get. I, I don't. I don't get. Like, it's not really. It's not greedy. It's authentication. It's not cool. greedy at all. Oh. Yeah. Although, although if you do, um, like, if something is is obviously false or fake, once you and you submit it for grading, like PSA will 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 fucking blacklist it, you know, and send it back to you. 
Well, that's the pro well, that's the problem with like the one card I was talking about is that it looked real enough, but we also know like uh, you can get really good looking fakes and whatnot. And the problem is again that the the grading is not an authentication. It's just a an examination on the condition of said card. And PSA has been known for grading fake cards before, so. Uh, there we go. So, basically, like, fuck you, game. I'm like, oh, I fucking hate this game. My ball, oh, I got, wow. I got fucking. Like, you, I got, you, you, you got robbed there. Like, what the hell? I should have parred it. Well, this is oh. your game now. But uh, yeah, like, the whole Could idea is basically going and bringing it back to NFTs. Like, oh, it's up here, maybe? worse and dumber in that like a digital sense. space. Just due to the fact, like, it's a digital image, and number one, there should be a limit to how many you can buy, and two, there should be a like a reason why it should be limited time. Like, I, I forget there was a good tweet where somebody like explained like uh, like the idea of an NFT of like how it is, but to do it in a video game, like for example, like. Until, well, not until Up dawn, I forget which game it was, but basically like the, where you're li literally like corresponding it to like a licensed DLC, and you can only sell this many people for at this, uh, this amount for a game that, for the, for the most part, is probably going to die within maybe one or two years. It doesn't have a whole long life cycle to the point that after like five years, that get that NFT is not going to be worth shit. So it's like, yeah. what? What's the point? Yep. Actually, when in most cases, you can just find the image in the in the in the in the source and just say right click save as. Well, it's not it's not about it's not about the image. Like the it's image the is there. It's in the this image. case, in the case, it's, go ahead. Nice it's the image that's just there to give you something to look at. Yeah. What you the, the the rare the thing that's rare is the piece of code behind it that says this is like this particular instance of this thing is the only is the only one out there. Um, it's not necessarily just the image is referring to. It's it's the combination of the image and whatever piece of code is is, is behind you're, that thing that says you're, like hey, you're this literally is only one. you're literally buying a serial number. Pretty much, it's just yeah. That's basically what it is. It's like a, it's the same. It's the same principle behind a numbered, an actual numbered card, right? That you pull out of a pack. Yeah. And yeah it's, it's just, just like one out of ten or whatever. Like that's yeah, it's the same. Or, it's, the thing, it's the same thing, just on. Or the basically, if you buy a comic book and it comes with uh, like a, a a security, a card of uh, or a offer a certificate, you know, like uh. So it's, is it kind of patent going on over there too, or just? What? Okay. It's kind of like a patent thing going on with with this too with NFTs. A patent. Something like ownership or something like that. Or he means oh, copyright. Yeah, 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 yeah like copyright. Amazing. Copyright. Very nice. Not yes. the general. Shoutouts to to uh, the patent. If he had led, we wouldn't be in the same. We wouldn't have the problems what, uh, that we would have in South in South uh, Korea and North Korea. You know, patent you know, like, you know, the term patent troll, that kind of shit. Oh, patent? Well, there's not, it's not really, there's, what's there to patent, though? It's not like you own the patent on that thing. Because it's not like a te piece of technology or, yeah, or uh, an invention or a creation or something like that. It's just like, oh. it's just, you, you literally bought a card that has code, that, that has code behind it that says, this is the, this is the only one of these, or this is one of oh. 300, or this is one of 500. It's like if I buy a pack of baseball cards and I pull out, you know, I pull a one out of uh, one out of ten Ronald Acuna. From, it, it's not like I own the patent on that card, right? It's not. It's, it, it's, it's just it's just a product that I bought, and it's there. There's, there's just one of ten because it's limited. It's like it's the same same thing with like limited edition, you know, um, collector's edition Blu-rays with like what a statue or whatever that there's only like. 30 of or what or, or what it's, it's the same shit it, 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 oh, they okay, made 30. Uh, okay let's, let's put it, it like this way uh uh Yossi, sorry to interrupt but let's say the sky uh, the sky game comes out and they release a special dlc of laharl and that? they put an nft on it that states that we can we are only going to sell one of 50 uh 150 of these and you buy it with the nft 
essentially you own the limited edition of that nft for that game for the rest of time unless you decide to like quote sell it, which i know you're 50 you're allowed to do ah okay that's basically what it is the dumb part in my mind is like why are you selling a limited edition nft for a digital game where you can easily sell it unlimited like there's no there's no intrinsic value in my mind really there it's literally just preying on people's idea of fomo like yeah, right. fear, fear of missing out fear of yeah. missing out okay so it's creating like a what's it called like a, 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 a limited market for something that isn't limited yeah, yeah, because, it's because, 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 you, because you can argue in favor of like limited edition statues and figurines because those cost materials to make yeah, so it's creating like an artificial demand, pretty much. Yes. Okay. That may, that, and is on that top of that, with the physical thing, you can buy yeah. a physical yeah. statue yeah. or something, yeah. and you own it. And even without a certificate to prove that it's real, you could still sell that thing. Mm. In, this, in these cases, you can't. As far as I know. Pretty sure you're not. Like, I don't I see why they a lot of I still feel dumb right thinking about this shit. No, you can, you can sell NFTs. Like, there's there's markets and places where you can sell them. But, um, you know, no, they're, they've, it, the authentication has to be there, I would think, um, in order to do it. Uh, my slightly reminds me of those people. What's that? What's that? What's that game? PT? You said all these PS4 PT installed in it. <laughs> That's a little different, but, uh, I'm I guess. Yeah, you know. I mean, my PS4 still has a P has PT on it. <laughs> like as a uh, as a note. <laughs> Ironically enough, you could have gotten a lot of money for those uh, for those things at yep, one point. Yep, I remember seeing people hacking that shit up. But I guess in that sense, like yes, if you could have like hypothetically, if it did have an NFT, you own that NFT, you could trade it or whatnot. Ooh. Although I. Although I doubt you would you would have been able to, so. so it's, it's like like I said, NFTs uh, don't don't make any sense to me, especially considering like the like like cryptocurrency, they're not good for the environment. Yep, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna think about like why is it be allowed to keep cryptocurrency going on? Yeah. It's the same idea. Yeah. They make they okay. make perfect sense to me. I just think Whoa. they're stupid. If mm -hmm. that makes any sense, like I get the I get the whole I get the reason behind them. And I get why they're a thing, and I get the concept. Um, people have a hard time grasping the concepts, the concept that people have, like, yeah, like the concept of, yeah. the concept of like, me, owning, me owning a picture that's not actually rare, you know, that, like, no. that, 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 to, to, that doesn't, it, it, it's just like a digital file, like, who, 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 nobody owns a digital file, you can just go on the internet and find a, 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 you know, a photo of Michael Jordan dunking on somebody, you know, then it's the same fucking thing as an NFT. Like, that's how people think. Although that's that's not exactly what the NFT is. But, you know, that's... It's just... It, it's a hard concept to grasp. And the fact that it's digital... It's ownership of something that exists on the internet when pretty much everything that exists on the internet is basically free anyways. Like, it, it, just, it just seems dumb. Like, this seems like the kind of thing that once everybody realizes this is fucking stupid, like, why are people spending $500,000 for, for, for a, a piece of code that says this is the only picture with this piece of code on it of, you know, LeBron James dunking on Trey Young? Uh, it's, it, it's dumb. It, it, it's, it's fucking stupid. The market's gonna crash at one point. Once, once all the big money people get out of it, like, it, everything's gonna crash, and then there's gonna be a bunch of people that are left holding the bag that have spent thousands of dollars on NFTs of basketball and baseball and football moments, and they're gonna be, you know, you're gonna, people are gonna lose a lot of money. Could make a It's bound to happen. It's bound to happen. Mm, it's, like, it's a digital file that exists on the internet, but to to to, to most people, like it, that's not it, it, it's not like it's not tangible, right? It's something that, uh, that I see on the screen that exists on a server somewhere. It's not like a piece of, a piece of cardboard. That I have put away in a case, you know, that will that will live on for generations and generations. That your, that your grandchildren, you know, 30, 50, 60 years from now are gonna are gonna pull out and, and look at, and you know, it, and it'll be worth. It'll, it may still be worth something. Like it, it's it's not. They just simply because of this thing, these things are not tangible. I just don't think they're going to last. I mean, if you were like, 
Okay. <laughs> Stick with me here. But Star Trek. In Star in like the uh, in like the Star Trek universe, they have the concept of like holographic uh, artwork essentially, and basically they kind of sell it like that. If it was like you were buying like a like an actual model that you can actually display, and you can actually license out and make money off of it, it kind of made sense at that point. But we're not there yet, mm -hmm. and it's kind of dumb right now just due to the fact that like you're basically like you said you're not. It's not the thing, it's the concept. Like, you own the serial number to the said thing that you that nobody else does. What yeah. are you what what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> is basically yeah. what I'm getting at. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh hi boss Johnson. No. We just wrapped up our game currently right now. Uh, I'm oh. gonna build up a room, uh, another room. So uh, I'm assuming okay. highest metal you're gonna stick out. So which is fine. Yeah, I'm gonna stay out tonight. Uh, Enron, are you gonna play with us or do you? Or do you I'll do play. You... Okay. And Boss Johnson's here, so I'm assuming he's gonna play. So one, two, three, six, four, five, six. Okay. I'll build one room on one end, and then I'll quit out of that. And basically, I'll just pass on the room uh, to you guys. So give me a moment here. Funny, we're sitting here talking about NFTs and. I'm looking on my I'm looking on my in my timeline and I see the NBA Top Shot account is tweeting at me about about NFT NBA basketball NFTs. They're listening. Yeah, they're listening. I know. Clearly. Mm -hmm. I don't even follow this account. I'm wondering like how how the fuck does this get on my timeline? No, no. Bots. Bots. I had a, like a I had a, like 15 people uh, tweeting at me like uh, for in a particular moment of, uh, about like Vic talking about Vic and I just I had to go I literally had to go ban block a hundred accounts that took like that took a while and I and I examined every single account just to like see how much of a piece of shit they were so, all right so just like that two rooms have already made so uh boss Johnson what's your what's your view on uh, nfts or do you know what an nft is yeah, like, so my kind of point of view is it's the one gripe I have with it, like, I understand the concept, like, similar to trading cards and shit. My biggest gripe is you can't insure it like actual shit. That's why it's like when everybody's going to lose their money and the shit isn't insured, you know, they're just going to be fucked. Oh, it's like cryptocurrency too much? Yeah. The what whole point of cryptocurrency. Similar. What is insurance not... company would insure that? <laughs> Bro, I guarantee you, there's people looking at it and figuring out how to do it. Just, I guarantee you that. Yeah, there's no. So yeah, much... but there, there, there's there's right always now. someone looking to make a buck off of it, but I, that's that's a risk I would never take. Yeah, oh, part of the, the cryptocurrency is like the less regulation involved, so that's the main one of the main motifs for it. Right? Well, see, the the thing is, is like it, it it exists on they exist on the cloud, so technically, I guess you really don't need to it because like just just it being redundant and copied everywhere is mm -hmm. and is redundancy enough, I would imagine, for insurance. But there, ha but there but, also have been points where people straight up have lost their currents, their cryptocurrency, yeah. uh, or well, their because Bitcoin. yeah, but that's not the same. It's not the same as an NFT though, like. It, NFTs and, and cryptocurrency are are fundamentally different um, in that in that in that manner because like as far as I understand Bitcoin like there's like these hashes or whatever that only that, that you need to decode to get to the uh, to get the uh, the blockchain bit or something of it like there, there's like there's like a token and I guess a token is probably the best word for it like you you have tokens that in combination with whatever shit is generated by that blockchain to 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 signal to, to, to um uh as a unique identifier for the bitcoin like you need both pieces of that so what people do is they, they lose the hard drives and things that have like their key on it basically because like i think we've all heard about that one guy who, who lost like a hard drive yeah that there was like keys for like 65 million dollars of bit of bitcoin on it that he bought when it was worth nothing um you know and you literally had people like digging in his digging in his town's landfill trying to find that hard drive or any hard drive to see if it was his, you know, and to get to, to get those keys off of it. Um, yeah. The NFTs aren't like that. Like NFTs, 
NFTs are are uniquely identified by whatever that blockchain, however the blockchain works. Um, as a as a note, there is a thing of like uh, in cryptocurrency, like a Bitcoin the wallets, essentially the, the just little devices that have the hashes on it that store all your bitcoin and basically you just trade it like a like a real wallet or a credit card essentially yeah well those those wallets are all virtual wallets um oh yes yeah. i'm just saying they yeah. exist so. yeah 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 oh nice. so, yes, very close but like i forgot what i was saying now um uh, you were talking yeah. about like how it's not not like a an nft yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's 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 not it's not like an NFT. It's it's completely it, like and, 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 and it. You can't. You can never lose it, right? Because because everything that everything every the everything that identifies that Amazing. that that uh, that NFT and thing all the things that no identify it as your NFT like those things all exist on the cloud. Like they're just there. Um. So maybe that maybe that's Son why. Of a bitch. Like, Maybe wow. insuring, okay. maybe insuring it is not necessary. Um, but I don't, I, like I said, I don't know enough about about the ins and outs of the technology to, to to definitively say like, oh yeah, this is you'll never need insurance for this, and here's why, or oh, you probably need it. You know, somebody's looking. I know, I know people are looking at ways to to insure it because, like like Dallas said, people want to make a buck, and insurance companies is like, you know, if they can find a way to insure something. And then and they never have to pay out for it then hey that's free money for them so somebody's gonna figure some shit out mm. um but who knows i'm just not gonna get involved with it like buying packs of baseball cards is enough is enough shit for me so yeah still same here yeah. i'm still i'm still debating about buying fucking sealed product in other yeah. other card games right now and just sitting on it and see if i can make a money, make money off of it and if i don't oh well and even then it's like eh, do i even want to bother yeah, a friend of mine, one of my buddies is doing that. Like he's he's buying like sealed pro sealed card game product just to sit on it, you know. But he doesn't know anything about those. He doesn't know anything about the card games. He's, he's like me. He's like he's a sports card guy. I don't so he just he just thinks he sees an opportunity. And I'm like I don't even mess with it. I'm just like yeah, whatever, dude. Just you know, if you feel good buying it up. Oh god damn it! If you feel good buying it up, go right ahead. But I'm not I'm not gonna mess with that stuff. Well, if you have an overhead, like, and you have extra cash, you know, it's fun, like, and if you actually control yourself to to spend just a little bit, and you just see where it goes, like, you basically make, like, extra chump change. I don't think it's really a bad idea. Break to the right. Yeah, I mean, I, it's not. I, I just I just don't know anything about it, so I'm just going to, like, eh. I just don't care. <laughs> The, uh, the other problem uh, is research. I already, uh, like, the stuff I'm talking about, like, I already know, nice know a little bit about, so it's not a huge risk on my part. Uh, <laughs> Dolly, your character is based on the, the girl from Read or Die, right? Yeah, it's the only Yomi Kori, my mother. That thing. I got it. I, 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 I ah, got it. I'm like, yeah. yep, that, look, that looks familiar. I'm like, oh, that's a girl. It's just, uh, it's just this model, I changed it a little bit so it do she doesn't have her coat. Hold 11. So it's just it's her and her vest. So. Okay, right. But yes, it is based on Yomiko Reaver. 